Hi, it's Charlie Atkins. Today, I have a full body HIIT workout for you. You'll need at least one pair of dumbbells. We're using five, eight, 10, and 15 pounds. I have Brittany demonstrating modifications using five and eight pound weights, and Nico showing more advanced options using 10 and 15 pound weights. Make sure to start a workout on your Fitbit tracker or smartwatch so you can monitor your heart rate and calories burned. Let's go ahead and get started with some breath work, okay? So let's let the eyes close. We're just gonna inhale through the nose. Open the mouth side out. Another deep breath in, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sighing it out, let the eyes open. And then we're gonna go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up overhead. We'll do three of these. Exhale, letting go. Deep breath in, inhale, reach. Exhale, sigh it out. Last one, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, let it go. And then we're just gonna come into ankle rockers. So we're just gonna rock all the way up onto our tippy toes and then come back, rocking onto your heels. You can go at your own tempo and you can also keep the knees bent, but you wanna make sure that the shoulders stay stacked over the hips. I feel like that last breath work might have been the only time that we're able to breathe, <laughs> to breathe. that deeply for the next 30 minutes, but that's a good thing. Now today we're gonna to be doing three five minute rounds. The work will be broken down into 10, 20, and 30 second sets. We'll talk about that again once we get a little bit closer. So rocking up onto the tippy toes, coming back onto the heels, just opening up the calves. There could be a lot of jumping. So you wanna make sure that the ankles are feeling nice and strong. Let's go ahead and come into our cross country skiers. So Nico and I, we're just gonna hop from side to side. Elbows are in towards the side of the body or if you're more comfortable with hands down at the side, you can. If you don't wanna jump, you can always modify by just going a little bit slower. Otherwise you're just hopping side to side like we're cruising down the slopes. <laughs> Great way to get the heart rate up as we get ready to come into our 30 minute workout. Whew. I'm on a double black diamond. <laughs> side good. to side. <laughs> Just warming up, getting ready to move for today. Now we're gonna get ready to transition into a lunge matrix. Let's go ahead and start with the right side. We're gonna do a forward lunge, and then we're gonna come over onto the right for a lateral lunge, and then we're gonna do a reverse lunge. Now to modify, let's go forward again. You don't have to go as deep in these lunges. So if you're still working on your mobility, or if you're still working on your strength, you don't have to bring the knees all the way down to the mat. But if you are going all the way down in your lunges, you wanna see if you can get your knee to kiss the ground. And by kiss, I mean it's very light. You don't wanna smash your knee down to the ground. Coming forward on the lateral lunge, press the hips back, make sure that the chest stays up. Let's go ahead and meet in the center and then we're gonna go over towards the opposite leg. Right. Okay, starting with a forward lunge on the left, coming back together lateral, hips back, reverse, Stepping forward again, moving laterally, toes point forward, hips go back. Going forward again. This is a great way to warm up. It hits all the angles of the hips. So coming forward, chest stays up, lateral hips go back, reverse, knee kisses the ground. One more forward lunge and one more lateral lunge, and then we're gonna move into our shoulder rolls. So go ahead and put the hands by the side. We're just gonna roll the shoulders back. Whew. So in case a push-up were to come up, I'm not saying it is, but it might. <laughs> you wanna make sure that the shoulders are nice and warm. So we're trying to move the shoulder blade on the back. So as you move the shoulders in circles, you wanna feel the shoulder blade sliding on the back. You can try putting your hands in fists, maybe that helps you. Otherwise, we're gonna reverse our roll. We're gonna start to go forward. So it's almost like you're trying to put the front of your shoulder in your front pocket. Rolling forward. Few more seconds here. And then we're gonna slowly start to set up for some toe touch squats. We're gonna go ahead and open our feet up to a wide position. Toes are pointed forward. With a flat back, hinge forward at the hips. Bring the hands down to the toes, drop the hips in between the heels, lift the hips up, hands back on the hips, lift yourself all the way up. Now for a modification, if you're having trouble getting your hips all the way down, you can always just do a classic squat. If you can't touch your toes, you can always just hold onto the shins, whatever works best for you here. But this should feel nice all throughout the hips, the inner thighs. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Hips come up, we come up. We'll do one more, hinging at the hips, bringing the hips down, lifting up, and then coming all the way up. From here, we're gonna come into push-up plank position. You can go ahead and come to a tabletop position, Brittany. Hips come all the way up for downward facing dog. Nico, we're just gonna go from plank to down dog. 
So in down dog, hips up, coming into plank, pressing hips right back up to a downward facing dog. So coming out to plank, hips go up, downward facing dog. Plank to a down dog, just pushing and pulling through the hands. We'll do three down dogs, two down dogs. Last one, hips all the way up, and then let's go ahead and come on up to standing. Whew, how's that? Feels good? good. I feel so, <laughs> warm. I, I feel it's warm, getting warm too. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what we're doing today. We'll be doing three five minute rounds and the work's gonna be broken down into 30, 20, and 10 second sets, okay? Sounds good. Our first exercise is gonna be a pendulum lunge. So let's go ahead and grab our heavy weights. We're gonna face to the right, starting with the right leg first. We're gonna do a forward lunge. Brittany, you can meet and tap in the center. Nico, you and I are just gonna go straight back into a reverse lunge. So we're going from a forward lunge to a reverse lunge. Just moving forward and backwards. Woo, I got this. <laughs> just working on our balance here. Shoulders stay over the hips. We're just doing forward and backward. Now let's go ahead and turn around and move in the opposite direction. So moving to a forward lunge with the left, reverse lunge. Forward and reverse, nice. Keep the chest up, shoulders stacked over the hips, just moving forward and backwards. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and come into our renegade rows. So coming down onto the mat, you can have your knees drop to the mat, Brandy. We're just gonna pull one elbow up towards the ceiling and then the other, <sighs> alternating sides. Make sure that shoulders and hips stay square to the mat and you're pulling the wrist up to the rib. <sighs> Keep the breath moving. Make sure the shoulders are over the wrist. Let's do two more. Last one, and now we're gonna come up to standing for our thrusters. Weights are resting right on top of the shoulders. You're gonna come to a two-thirds squat. Explode up. Down, down, nice. So those are the three exercises. We're gonna do each one of those five times, okay? All right. Let's do one more, Let's one more it. here, one, one more. And then we're right into our pendulum lunge. Facing to the right, right leg goes forward. Reverse. Already losing my breath. This is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good sign. Yes. Forward and backward, driving through that leg that's moving. Let's go ahead and turn around and switch direction. Left leg goes forward, reverse. Forward, nice. And reverse, working at your own tempo, or you can see if you can stay up with Nico and I. Going forward and back, good. Now let's go ahead and come to our renegade rows. Coming down onto the mat, take a breath. Ooh. Shoulders are over the wrist, pulling elbow up towards the ceiling. Body as flat as a board, straight line from the head to the heels, pulling up, lowering down. Core is tight, glutes and quads are strong, lifting up, lowering down. A few more seconds, almost there. Whoo, nice. Let me two more reps. One, two, come on up. We're moving into our thrusters. Good, Great. lowering down, pushing up. Great breath work. Biceps toward the ears, two thirds squat. Let's do one more. Nice, moving into our pendulum again. Take a breath, come into a forward, reverse. Forward, nice. So that left leg is constantly planted. We're balancing on it as we're moving forward and backward like a pendulum. Last one here, let's go ahead and turn around. Left side does a forward lunge, reverse. Man, Feeling make sure your knee stays in line with the ankle. Staying, keeping your balance. Let's do one more forward. And then we are gonna head to our renegade rows. Push up plank position, elbow pulls up. Here we go. 20 seconds, pulling up. Shoulders stay square to the mat, hips stay square. Take a wide stance in the feet to help you with your balance. Pulling wrists up to ribs. This is core and arms and back. We got three. Two reps. Last one, Whew. come up to standing, right into our thrusters, good? Great. Take a deep breath in, here we go. <sighs> Only 10 seconds here. <sighs> Brittany, what round are we on? <sighs> this is the end of the second. Okay, Going good. into three. <sighs> Let's do one more. Heading into our pendulum, are you ready? Do Facing it. forward, deep breath in as we exhale, right leg goes. <sighs> Reverse. Nice. Going at your own tempo. If you can, keeping up with me and Nico. Forward and backwards. Shoulders stack over the hips. Light steps with the feet. Let's go ahead and turn around. Left leg leads, here we go. Left, reverse. Forward, nice. Stay breathing, stay connected to the movement. We got one more rep in each direction. Forward, reverse, nice. Renegade rows, here we go, flipping over. 
Push up plank position, bring it up. So wide feet is gonna help you with a nice solid balance. Look at us, losing our breath. <laughs> Something's working and I think it's us. I think it's us. Whew. How we feel? Feeling Great. good. That's what I wanna hear, team. That's what I wanna hear. Let's do three, two, one more rep. Come up to standing, we're into our thrusters. So two thirds squat comes down, explode up. Down, down. This one is only 10 seconds. Explode up. Let's do two more, one, two, nice. Pendulum lunge, let's go to the left first just for fun. Okay. Deep breath in on the exhale, here we go. Forward, reverse. Do you like how I changed that up? It's a good trick. Remix. <laughs> Keep you on your toes. <laughs> Work Let's out for my one mind more. and yeah. my body. Let's go ahead and turn around. Right leg. Forward and reverse. Weights are just hanging out by our sides. They're just adding resistance, making it a little bit more challenging to come up out of that lunge. Ooh, it's burning. Give me one more reverse, Nico. Ooh. Oh, nice, coming down to our renegade rows. Are we good? Yeah. Setting up, feet are wide. Body is flat, pulling up. Lowering down. So making sure that you're getting a nice, solid exercise. You don't want to rush these. You want to make sure that they're nice, not perfect, but working towards perfection, right? <sighs> Tight core. Shoulders are square to the mat. Last one. Give me one more, one more, one more. Good. Come on up. <sighs> Here we go. All right. Thrusters, deep breath in. Explode up. <sighs> down. <sighs> down. <sighs> Reach on. Biceps five ears. Lowering down. Let's do one more. And break. Quick recovery. Check your heart rate. See where you're at. Good, I'm feeling good. We're in it. We're Definitely in it. Let's grab a quick drink of water. Take this recovery. Enjoy the one minute recovery. Otherwise, we're gonna do that all over again. That's one way to warm up. So something to keep in mind when you're doing HIIT workouts. Whew. It's important to note that you should only be doing HIIT workouts one to two times a week so your body has enough time to recover and repair itself, yeah. right? You do not want to be doing these type of workouts every day of the week, <laughs> once or twice. Now we're getting ready to move into round two. Again, we're gonna have three exercises total. Each one of them are gonna be done for 20, 30, or 10 seconds, five times through. All right. Okay? Let's do it. All right, so coming into our next set of exercises, we're gonna start with goblet squats. Now we're gonna be moving quick through the weights, so make sure they're close by. Holding the weight tight into the chest, we're just gonna lower down, come right back up. Modification for a goblet squat. You don't have to go as deep. However, if you're working on your squats, you're working on making your thigh parallel towards the ground. It does require mobility. It does require strength. Practicing these squats is by doing them in all of your workouts. Such a great exercise. Yeah. Down and up. Good, let's go ahead and grab our light weights. We're moving into our shoulder. Alternating front and lateral raises. We'll start lateral first, feet are hip distance apart, coming out to the side, slow, lifting forward. Out to the side. You never want the weight to go past the shoulder. As you come out or up, keep the core engaged to help control bringing the weights up too high. Lifting up, lowering down, nice. Let's go ahead and move into our snatch. So we're gonna grab one heavy weight. We're gonna be alternating sides, bringing the weight all the way down, exploding up, reaching it overhead, switching sides. Coming down, modification is you can do what Brittany's doing and you're just clean into a press. Ooh. Lifting up, good, give me one more. And we're right back at the top with our goblet squat. So hold on to your dumbbell. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Lowering down, coming up. It does require mobility. It does require strength. There we go. Lowering down, lifting up. I should not be able to breathe so easy right now. <laughs> right after this, we're gonna be heading into our lateral raises. Give me three, two, one, go ahead and grab your light weights, moving into your uh, front to end lateral raises, coming out to the side. Here we go, lift up. Good, now my feet are hip distance apart. My core is engaged. I'm lifting from the shoulder. I have a slight bend in my elbow, but I'm working on pulling the weights up towards the ceiling. Lifting up. 
coming up, nice. Weights don't ever wanna go past the shoulders. Let's do one more in the front, one more out to the side. Grab your heavy weight, we're going into our snatch or our clean and our press. Bring all the way down to the mat, pushing up, switching sides. Good. Watch where the weight goes. Let's do one more on the left. Good, now we're moving right back to our goblet squat. Holding the dumbbell right here at the chest, lowering down, lifting up. That's a sweet transition, yeah. right? <laughs> you just kind of throw that dumbbell right in the chest, Pick come into your goblet squat. So when you're squatting, knees drive out, press the knees away from each other. Tailbone goes back, back is nice and flat, straight line from the head to the tailbone. Right after this, in just a few seconds, we're gonna be heading into those lateral and front raises. Give me two more reps here with the squat. One more rep, switching weights. Here we go. All right. We are cruising through this one. Feet are hip distance apart, slight bend in the knees. Out and forward. So you wanna maintain movement and motion throughout this entire set. You just wanna keep moving because you know there's a recovery on the other side. <sighs> Lifting up. What round are we on? We're at the end of, oh. we're into three. Oh, nice, that's what I like to hear. Let's do one more to the front, one more out to the side. Grabbing onto that heavy weight, heading into our snatch or our clean and press. Coming down, exploding up, switching sides. So you wanna lead with the elbow as you bring that weight up. Let's do one more on the left, right into our goblet squats. All right. Here we go. Lowering down, lifting up. Inhale down, exhale up. Knees drive away from each other. Hug the dumbbell in tight to the chest. Straight line from the head to the tailbone. Hips pressed towards the back wall. Keep the core engaged. Whew, keep the breath moving. How are we doing? Keep breathing. You guys still with me? Still here. Oh, good. I don't want to be alone. Still moving. We got you Lowering back. Lowering down, nice. Coming down, right back up. Let's do one more, and then we're gonna grab our light weights. Here we go. Lightweights heading into our shoulder exercises. Lateral frontal raise, here we go, lifting up. Forward. Again, slight bend in the elbows. You wanna lift the weights up. You don't wanna throw them up there. It's a lift. Up. Don't let the weights go past the shoulder lever, meaning don't reach any higher. Let's do one more to the front, one more to the side. Grabbing Ooh, onto our heavy weight, awesome. here we go. Feeling those here shoulders. Here we go, here we go. Lifting all the way up. This is my favorite one. I know, it's a good one. It gets the heart rate up. Well, they all do, this one especially. Let's do one more on the right. Let's do a quick transition into our goblet squats. This is the last one, isn't it? Last, last round. Let's here do it. Nice. Now, you can always change up the intensity of your exercises by holding the squat a little bit longer in the bottom face. Hold it. Now come up. Ooh. Lowering down, coming up. So even though you're going slower, you're actually increasing the intensity of your workout. Lowering down, coming up. Just a few more seconds here. Down, good, let's do two more. One, right. two, good. Let's go ahead and grab onto our light weights. Moving into the shoulders. Let's go front toe first, just for fun. Okay. Lift up. Ooh. So you can always change things up. You can always tricky. change it up. It's all about variety. Like it. Same, same, but just kind of different. <laughs> Lifting out to the side, slight bend in the elbow, keep the core tight, slight bend in the knees. Let's do one more to the front, one more to the side. Whew. Nice. Yeah. Last round of snatch. All right. Lean and push, here we go. All the way down. Getting that weight up. So you're trying to get that weight as fast as you can from the ground up overhead. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Ooh. Oh man, oh man, check the heart rate. Check the heart rate, we are up there. Woo. Definitely. Oh nice, that's what I wanna see. Grab a quick drink of water, we have a quick recovery coming up. So that was round two. How are we feeling? I'm feeling great. We're getting sweaty? I'm sweating, sweaty. for sure. But, you know, the good news is, is we're over halfway through. That's great. Three rounds total, three sets of exercises. This is our third set. Sounds good. So as we're in this recovery, check your heart rate, watch it go down as you breathe deeply and recover. HIIT training allows you to boost your overall health in a smaller amount of training time. We got about 15 seconds until we head into round number three, which Woo! is our final round. Yes. High fives. Take her home. Here High we fives. go. Yeah, that's what I like. We're gonna take yeah. it. Yeah. 
So the exercises that we'll be doing this time around is we're gonna be doing alternating halos, alternating lateral lunge, and a warrior maker. Sounds Let's go good. ahead and grab onto one of our heavy weights, starting with alternating halos. Knees are bent, feet are hip distance apart. You're just gonna wrap around, keeping the core engaged, trying not to let the torso move. So you should feel this in your shoulders and you should feel this in your core. Elbow stand tight to the body, tuck the tailbone under, keep the core engaged. After we do those halos, we're gonna head right into our lateral lunge. So Brittany, when we head into our lateral lunges, you can go ahead and keep your feet static and we're gonna actually do a step, Nico, you ready? Let's go ahead and do one more round, grab onto your heavy weights. Setting up in the center, go ahead and keep your feet wide. We're just gonna go from one side into the other. In a lateral lunge, toes point forward, hips press back, chest stays up, weights frame the knee. Make sure that the knee is tracking over the toe. One leg is straight, the other knee is bending. The knee that is bending, that is the foot that you are pressing yourself up. Let's do one more on this side. And then we're gonna head right into our whoo, warrior makers. Wow. We're gonna start in push-up plank position. You're gonna do one push-up, you're gonna row, you're gonna jump the feet in, you're gonna do a bicep curl, overhead press, and then repeat. Hands come down, feet go back, push-up, row, row, feet in, curl, overhead press, and then we're moving on. So go ahead and keep a hold on to your, one of your heavy weights heading right into our halos. That one was a tough one, right? Yeah. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so we're gonna be hitting those four more times. If you didn't get them that first time around, it's okay. We're gonna do it another time. So okay. in these halos, you wanna keep the weight as close as you can towards your head. That way you know that you're maintaining the resistance throughout the torso and the core to keep you in that position. Let's do one more in this direction and then we're grabbing onto our other heavy weight, heading into our alternating lateral lunge. Here we go, stepping to the right. Coming up. Hips go back, good. Modification, if you need it, you can just leave the feet static and you're just moving from one side into the other. The advanced version is what Nico and I are doing. We're stepping in the center, reaching right back out to the side. Hips are pressing back. Let's get one more on the right side, one more on the left. Ooh. And then we're heading in those warrior breakers. You're ready to go. Setting ready. up push-up plank position. Let's do a push-up. Row, row. Jump in, curl, press up, lower down. Modification, you can do all of those from the knees. Row, row. Let's get it in. Curl, overhead press. We're right into our halos. Lower one weight down. We're moving quick for this one. Here we go. So again, modifications on those warrior makers is you can always just come down to the knees or move a little bit slower. We only have 10 seconds to do them. So you just wanna make sure that you are doing the best push up, the best row, the best squat, the best curl, the best push press that you can do. That's a lot of best. Yeah, the best. As long as you're doing your best. As long as you're doing your best. Which we are. We are. We are killing it today. Head, bringing the dumbbell around the head. Let's go and do one more in this direction. Grab your heavy weight, alternating lateral lunge. Just to change it up, step into the left. Ready? Good. Switch sides. So if you have tight inner thighs, which a lot of us do, you don't have to step as wide out to the side. You can have a little bit more narrow step, but you really want to press the hips into your back pocket. Chest always stays up. Light step out to the side. Let's do one over here to the left. Woo. Ready to hit it? Yeah. Coming down, here Let's we go. Let's go. Push up. Row, row. Jump in. Curl. Press up, lower down. We're getting another one. Here we go. Kick back. Push up. Row, row. Jump in. Curl. Press up. Bring it down. One weight goes away. Here we go. Right into the right. halos. Now we got it. Now we're Now fast. we got it. We're, we are now moving. moving. We are moving. Now those warrior makers have got to be one of the hardest exercise in my toolbox. Definitely, right? Definitely. So if you're still working on getting them, keep trying this workout once or twice a week. Keep practicing them. You will get them one day, I promise. So we're gonna finish up with these halos moving slow and smart. Next exercise is gonna be alternating lateral lunge. Let's go ahead and set up to grab our next weight. Here we go. Left side first, just for fun. Left. It's fun. I like it. Variety. The spice of life. Right? Man, I just remember that this is our third round and I got really excited. Yes. <laughs> Fourth round. Ooh. Oh, I tricked you. Even, <laughs> oh, even more excited. Yeah, even better. Are you guys ready to do our favorite one, Warrior Maker? Setting it up? Yes. Here we go. Coming down. Push up. Row, row. 
jump forward, land on the feet, curl, push, pull down. Let's get another one, Nico. Come on, kick back, push up, row, row, jump in, curl, press down, halos. Woo! Rocking it. Here we go. Alternating sides. So on this halo, focus on keeping the core as tight as possible. Moving slow around the head. You want your shoulders to burn by the end of this. You want your core to feel like it can't be any more tighter than it already is. And I'm doing it right. <laughs> no, you're doing it right. Reaching around. So this also, this exercise also relies on shoulder mobility. Opening up. Let's do one more in each direction. Next step, lateral lunges. Here we go. Back to the right. We are cruising. So I don't mess this up. Which one are we on? Round number four? Round number four. five. Yes. Five. What? Yeah. Time flies when you're having a good I time. I know, right? For I know, we're done. We're getting ready to head to those warrior makers. Hold on, give me one more on each leg. One more to the right. Are you ready to go? Let's finish Coming strong. down, finishing strong. Here we go. All right, here we Push go. Push up. Row, row. <laughs> Jump in, make sure both feet land. Protect the knee, curl, explode up. Another one, bring it down, kick back. Push up, row, row. <laughs> Jump forward, curl, push up, yes. and rest. Yes. How did that happen? Oh. High fives. Oh. High fives. That was, High fives. That was Check a your good heart one. rate. Oh. We're up there. I'm up there for sure. Grab a quick drink of water if you need it. Might as well wet the palate. Whew. So we're going to head down into our recovery exercises now. Awesome. Sounds wonderful. Oh. Let the heart rate come down. Let the breath rate come down. Go ahead and meet me on your mat, sitting on your heels, knees are bent. We're just gonna take three breaths together, just natural breaths, inhale, side up. Deep breath in, let it go. You can let the eyes close, inhale, exhale. See if you can inhale on a six count. So inhale for six, five, four, three, two, hold for three, two, exhale for six. Five, four, three, two, inhale for six, five, four, three, two, hold for four, three, two, exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, take a natural breath. Side out. Good. Let's go ahead and come down onto our mats. We're gonna hug the left knee into the chest. Take a deep breath in, right leg is straight. On the exhale, you're just gonna do a spinal twist. Left knee is gonna go over towards the front. Gaze goes back towards the back wall. Taking a deep breath in, sighing it out. Another inhale, letting it go. Nice. Last breath in. Whew. Bring everything to center. Extend the left leg, hug the right knee in. Deep breath in on the exhale, right arm extends out towards the front. Left leg crosses over. Once you're in that position, take the gaze over the right shoulder. Take an inhale, exhale. On the inhale, see if you can press your right shoulder blade into the mat. And then on the exhale, see if you can let your spine release. Another deep breath in, sigh it out. Bring everything back into center. You're gonna hug both knees into your chest. See if you can rock yourself up to a seated position or use your hands to press you up. And then we're gonna spin around towards the right wall. Extend both legs out straight in front of you. We're just gonna do a forward fold. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. See if you can flex the feet, meaning pull the toes in towards the shins. And then as you inhale, lengthen the spine and then exhale, forward fold. You can let the head be heavy if that feels good to you, but we're just gonna stay here for three more breaths. Deep breath in, side out. Another inhale, letting it go. Last breath in, press the hands into the mat. You're gonna slowly walk yourself up. Now sitting up tall, just go ahead and bend both knees, but you're gonna take the left foot on just above the right knee for a nice little recline, pigeon figure four stretch. If you wanna come down to the mat for the reclined pigeon, you can lay down, lifting that right leg up, or if you wanna stay up tall, you can stay up here. 
but we're really just opening up the outer edge of the hip. See if you can flex the left foot. Nice. Now we're gonna switch direction. If you're laying down on the ground like Nico, you can switch. Or if you're like Brittany and I, we're just alternating legs. So the right foot goes just above the left knee on the meaty portion of the thigh. If you wanna lay down on the mat like Nico, you can, but make sure that right foot is flexed, that you're pulling your right toes in towards the shin. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale. Two things are happening. You're trying to push the right knee away from the chest and you're trying to pull the left knee in towards the chest. So you're just getting that external rotation on the right hip. Deep breath in, side out. Good. Go ahead and release the leg. We're just gonna lay over on our left side, our left bicep. We just built up our left bicep. It's ready for it to be a pillow. You're gonna come into a quad stretch. Right heel goes towards right glute. See if you can bring both knees together. And then if you can't, think about pressing your right knee straight towards the right wall. So you wanna drive the right kneecap towards the right wall. That's gonna help you lengthen the front part of your right leg. Taking a deep breath in, sighing it out. Release the right leg, press yourself up. We're gonna switch sides. So quad stretch on the opposite leg. Use your bicep as a pillow. Pull the left foot behind you, grab onto the left shoelaces. Try to bring the knees together if you can. If there's a little bit of space between the knees, it's okay. But if you can, see if you can press the left kneecap towards the left wall, firing up the left glute, and you'll feel a nice stretch all throughout the left hip flexors or the left front part of the thigh, the quads. Deep breath in, sigh it out. Let's go ahead and release this leg. We're gonna come up to a child's pose. So press yourself up to where you're sitting on your heels, big toes are together, and then you're just gonna walk the hands out in front of you. Depending on how tight your hips are, that's how wide your knees will be. So if you want a nice hip opener, the knees can go wider. If you wanna focus more on the lower back, the knees can be a little bit closer together. But go ahead and let the forehead come down into the mat. Reach the hands in front of you, deep breaths in, followed by exhales. Oh man, that was a great workout. That was great. One more inhale, and then as you exhale, use the hands to walk you up. And then we're gonna go ahead and face sideways on our mats. You're gonna bring the hands behind you, opening up the chest. So clasp the hands behind you. If clasping the hands is challenging, you can always just reach behind you like Brittany is. But if you can clasp the hands, get your knuckles to face down towards the ground, open up the chest by pulling back, and then pull the knuckles down towards the ground. Shoulders pull down towards the ears. Deep breath in, side out. If you want, you can start to draw the head in a circle if that feels okay. But as you start to settle back into center, we're just gonna go ahead and shake out the arms, reach the right arm up overhead, bend the right elbow, tricep stretch. Ooh, yeah. See if you can press your head into that right arm sitting up nice and tall. And again, holding on to the meaty part of the right arm, so I'm not holding on to my elbow, I'm holding on to the muscle, my right tricep. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release arms. We're just gonna switch sides, so left elbow is gonna bend, taking the right arm, grabbing onto the left tricep, and then pressing my head into that arm, opening up the chest. <sighs> Oh, that feels good after those warrior makers. So nice. That's great. You could do this all day. <laughs> Let's take one more inhale. On the exhale, reach both arms up, shake it out. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice job. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm great. feeling great. Amazing. Thank you for working out with us today. You should be super proud of what you've accomplished here. And don't forget to share your sweaty selfie with the Fitbit community. I'm Charlie Atkins, and I'll see you next time.